Hi guys, so I'm having this issue with my lock. You know, when I put in my code, it does not let me lock it or unlock it. So something is definitely wrong. We're gonna go ahead and remove it and see what's inside. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the top and bottom screws. And then inside you will find there are two more screws that we're gonna go ahead and remove. And on the back side, you will see those two screws. Go ahead and remove those two screws. Okay, so once you get the bolts out, then we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Now there's a wire that is coming from the back side and it's uh, holding onto it. So we're gonna have to go ahead and remove that wire. You may need help from somebody to go ahead and uh, remove the back side wire. As you can see right here, this is the wire going on the back and uh, you can easily disassemble that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to remove the battery and uh, disconnect that wire. There it is. So now all you have to do is just pull on that connector and it comes off and uh, just have somebody hold it because at this point there's nothing that's holding on to it so it can easily fall off so just remove it and uh, now we have both pieces out now we're gonna go ahead and open it and trying to see what exactly is wrong with the unit itself okay so there are six screws that we're gonna go ahead and remove and uh, that's what i'm doing right now just make sure you save your screws so you don't end up losing them Okay, so now the six screws are out as you can see those six screws now we're going to go ahead and lift it up and uh, get into the mechanism now once you open it you'll have access to that key that the number keypad that you see over there it's probably a good idea to go ahead and clean it or wash it just the rubber side of it not the electronic piece of course so now we're just going to lift the whole thing the front lock part and just put that on the side Now we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the two screws that you see on the front and uh, just take the screws out. So I'm putting my password in and you can see how this mechanism goes up. And what happens is this device, if it's stuck downwards, this thing does not move upwards. And we'll try one more time and you can see this whole thing lifts up and it prevents the lock from locking up, you know. So that's, uh, that's one of the issues with these locks. So you really have to take it apart, clean it, uh, you know, even the springs, you can make sure, check on the spring, make sure you have enough uh, spring tension on there. Uh, I'm going to remove it, but all those are small parts at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and remove it, clean it really good, and uh, put everything back, you know, once everything is clean. Um, you may want to use some kind of lubrication if you have, just make sure you get a napkin, you know wipe it you know put some screwdriver in there with some napkin and just make sure you give it a nice clean you may have a bunch of black goo you know over the years it piles up it's pretty common for these locks to get any dust and stuff like that in there so once you clean it up uh good you know it just uh, makes it a lot easier for the lock to operate from inside and uh, i don't have any grease uh, that i'm going to be putting in you know but if you have any kind of uh um any kind of oil um, or some kind of lubrication even a wd-40 would would do do the trick so just make sure don't over spray it or overkill it you know just a little bit of lubrication should be good just make sure give it a nice clean and uh, i'm going to go ahead and take a look at this part because this part tend to malfunction a lot you know it tends to get it stuck in one position so Try to see if you can lift this, lift this up and go ahead and clean from inside as well. I'm just putting it back in, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice clean. So again, just to show you guys, you're gonna lift this main part up, then you're gonna lift this uh, this one up and uh, just put it on the side. Just make sure you keep track of your parts. There's this uh, my thin plate that I'm also gonna clean and just make sure you put it back where you took it out from you know so these are very small parts and uh, just keep track of those parts if you're taking something out you know clean it and put it back where you took it out from you know or at least take pictures or video or whatever so you know where you took the parts out from because it's critical that they go in the right position in the right place 
otherwise your lock is not going to operate the way it is designed to operate and uh, no need to use any kind of chemical or anything to clean them you know just a uh, rag would do the trick so at this point I think everything is nice and clean and I'm um, just gonna go ahead and uh, start putting things back to normal <laughs> Can I try and stop? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Okay, no, it's working. Is it working perfect? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, it's working right now. Okay. I yeah, hope it does. Yes, it is, man. Wait, can you make sure? Yes, I did make sure, man. I Because I don't want... When you put it on, it can burst off the no, door. No. no. So here what I'm doing is uh, cleaning up all the small parts that uh, we took it apart and uh, all you need to do is just use some rubbing alcohol with the napkin and uh, just uh, clean it if you have any springs you know put it on side clean it as much as you can and uh, this will get all the gunk out so next time when you operate uh, it's going to operate much better. Okay, so at this stage we're gonna put everything back to normal just put the lock first and then you can put the top part and then we can uh, just uh, screw it just make sure remember to screw it and put the front cover back and that's the complete assembly and uh, once it's assembled we're gonna go ahead and put it back uh, on the on the door and then see everything should work fine from there it's working good so hopefully you guys like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you